All right, we're gonna show you our basic setup for applying silver diamine fluoride. For starters, you wanna make sure you protect the surface that you're gonna be working on. So I like to use a patient napkin, which is plastic lined. You wanna protect yourself, of course, so make sure you're wearing gloves whenever you handle any of the materials. And then you wanna protect your patient, so a plastic lined patient bib and some sunglasses. And then I like to put copious amounts of Vaseline over their lips and skin to prevent a little temporary tattoo. All right, so now we're gonna um, isolate the area. You want it to be toothbrush clean. And I like to use a bite block if I can. And then we're gonna isolate the area with a variety of cotton products, whether, you know, depending what area we're working on, I could use gauze, cotton roll, little paper dry aids, or there's absorbent dry aids in a variety of sizes that you could use, those are great. If I'm gonna be doing the interproximal technique, I'm gonna actually use some super floss. All right, so once everything's dried and isolated, you're ready to go. So you're gonna put one drop of the SDF into a plastic dappen dish. This is very important. You don't wanna use a glass dappen dish because the SDF will actually react with the glass. So use a plastic dappen dish. Um, make sure you're careful when you're holding or handling the bottle I don't know if you can see, there's a little drop of black on here. It, it migrates, so make sure you're wearing gloves. You never wanna set it down on a bare countertop. Um, you'll notice over time, you'll get a little ring around the bottom of the bottle. You'll even see it inside the box. So just make sure you're careful because you don't wanna stain your countertops. Um, I apply it with a little fuzzy micro brush and just a regular micro brush is all I use. Um, probably has to do with the fact that I do a lot of interproximal lesions with the super floss and I find that other brushes were snagging the floss so just a fuzzy micro brush is great and then we're gonna leave it on there for one minute so I like to have a little handy kitchen timer set for a minute because that can feel like a long time so it's good to have a point of reference and then once it's done I like to cover the area with varnish so for a couple of reasons one to cover it and prevent saliva from washing in the area and, and um, that will give more time for the silver diamine fluoride to absorb deeper into the enamel and the dentin. And another benefit is the taste, because the, the varnish tastes better. I like this 2.5% varnish from Elevate Oral Care. It's nice because it comes in a bottle, so you can put one drop of that next to your one drop of SDF. Um, so it reduces waste and cost associated with, say, if I were to open an entire unit dose of varnish, I'd be throwing a lot of that away. So this is more convenient and cost effective. And then of course you need your little brush for the varnish. And then if you wanna be really nice, because the SDF can have a little bit of a metallic taste, even sometimes when, you, when you're applying the varnish, um, we can give them a little xylitol lollipop. And then um, we also keep everything in a little tray. And this is just plastic tray we probably got from Walmart or the dollar store, but you keep all your supplies in here, makes it nice and convenient. So you can make one of your own, depending on how many operatories you have. It's nice because you can carry this from room to room. And that's pretty much it.